<laughs> you're back here uh, with the linesman. Uh, today, it's actually just going to be myself, Arby, and Andy, producer Jay on the Here mics. Uh, you know, a week, uh, a week away from after giving Nick all the props in the world for being the one who's got the perfect attendance, mm. he decided he didn't care about the yeah. award and left us high and dry today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that trophy's off the yeah. table. <laughs> No more perfect attendance. Well, he, he took a day off after his impressive betting. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah like, he earned the boy, the boy did earn it. I think yeah. he's giving himself a lavish day off. Maybe yeah. he's getting a pampering, yeah. getting the old muscles and the, the brain massage Everything. down yeah. <laughs> just to maybe it. come back. Maybe he'll share it with us if he yeah, comes back shoot. loose and yeah, relaxed. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe next time he'll tell us how he goes <laughs> 10 and 1. Yeah, especially when we're sitting there watching the games with what him. Was, what was it the week before? Now there was, there was and another one? 10 and 1, I think. I yeah, back to back weeks. I'm convinced. He's cheating the system Good somehow. For him. <laughs> He's Good out there for on the him. pitch making it happen himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, so my heart's still kind of getting off some of the adrenaline rush that was uh, today's, fake working yeah. today while Mondays. watching these ridiculous games. Two wild, Ugh. wild thrillers. Like thrillers. Yeah. Sick games. At 14 goals by the end of it. Oh, even more maybe, right? No, nah, well, if you no. count the knock, if you, you can consider the PKs. Okay, yeah, but 14 goals. Yeah. In two games, in, in the space of... <laughs> Both going all five the way hours. through extra yeah, time. I hours. mean, There's in an insane thing. Crazy, we'll we'll, we'll crazy, get into crazy. that a little bit more. Um, for those of you that cannot see me, I am wearing a shirt that says it takes practice to be this grumpy. Um, every team that I'm rooting for just decides <laughs> to have something happen. That's just the most oh. unexpected of unexpected. So... Mm. So yeah. that's that's what's happening to me. Uh, just turning things into dust. It's going to be my new superpower. Too bad. Hey, but everybody's even on Monday. <laughs> everybody's even on Monday. <laughs> Except Nick, as he pointed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's much solid more ten than, and one. <laughs> much more than even. But yeah, um, yeah. My uh, my call, my lock, my sure thing also did not come through. That Ooh. Germany Hungary game. I was convinced. But the Hungarians were convinced otherwise. Yeah, I mean, Germany ended up, you know, pulling it out there, or at least tying it. But it looked yeah. like they were going to straight up lose. Yeah. It, it not just not win, them. but it looked like they were straight up going to lose. I, all the props in the world to that Hungary team, yeah. in, that, in that grouping, to just play the way that they played. Two draws Ooh. against the former, or the, the most recent World <laughs> Cup champ, you gave the reigning Euro champs a good game, and then you give Germany all but like everything the they can handle, yeah, all, anything and everything that they could Hungary handle. Hungary did nothing but just like make everybody a Hungarian fan, and it, like, and it was I the loved, way that they did it too. I loved that team; they were so much fun. Too yeah. bad they didn't get a knockout game, but uh, they made it a lot more interesting than yep. everybody thought it was going to be. They, Sh shout out yeah. to my great grandmother, uh, Hokewater. Uh, the Hungarian side of my family. Magyars. <laughs> little Magyar connection. Yeah, they got a, I got a little bit of everything in me. I'm the big mutt. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's that's too bad for those for those fans for that side. But, I mean, they had astronomical odds to go through. Oh, yeah. And, and to almost get to pull it off, too. That would have been sick. Uh, to to been watch either else. Germany or Portugal just not oh, well. all of a sudden be in the tournament. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's good, I guess, to be able to see those teams. But, I don't know. Speaking of Portugal not being in it. The, the fact that if you look at that scoreline and you didn't watch that game at all, you would be shocked, shocked that they did not beat Belgium. Shocked. Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, chances wasted left and right. Thibaut Courtois had a crazy game. He made, he made the saves he had to. The post helped him out once, too. So, that yeah, last week they drew France to, to take the third place. And it's a tough matchup against Belgium. Mm -hmm. Belgium squeaked out a one nil victory on six shots. <laughs> yeah, I mean <laughs> to to what is it? Portugal's twenty three. They shots? were like they were like ways. Yeah, it, it's the same story that like the Netherlands were doing, where they were making chances, but they just never hit the back of the net. Mm. Just never, never happened. Couldn't catch the breaks. Yeah, that's that's I think that again stat lines. You know that you, you think they tell some of the story, but Not I don't know. This no. is the this is probably the the number one sport where the stat line literally doesn't matter. This and I think maybe hockey. You know because goals are hard to come by. It's hard to it's hard to it's hard to get on the board. Yeah. So to to see a team just seemingly almost dominate in all the proper stat lines and just come out just with nothing, just flat, was uh, wasn't wasn't as entertaining as I was expecting the game to be. No. 
It's probably my fault for betting the over. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> another one. Of, n- another one of my uh, my losses yeah. turning into dust again. But to <laughs> recap, some of those other group stage matches uh, before we get more into this knockout, Croatia convincingly beat Scotland the first time they ever looked that good. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll we'll talk about how they looked today, but uh, England beating the Czechs one nil. England. Still no goals against. Three clean sheets. The one thing that they got on their side one, right now. One zero victories. Mm-hmm. Something's something's happening there. I don't know if it's gonna keep going. I don't know if they're gonna be able to replicate that against the Germans. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, the boring yeah. style of play is getting them wins. Yeah. So I mean, can still, we? Mm, got to do what you got to do if you're gonna win, man. right? I hate that. <laughs> it's, if I'm an England fan, I'm probably not all that thrilled about this. Yeah. Yes, wins yeah. are great. But actually, I'm thinking back, being Portuguese, watching that last year, Portugal did not win those games pretty. Portugal did not play <laughs> great, great, entertaining, end-to-end stuff. Uh, I I just cared about the wins, so I'll take that back. That If I'm English, I actually love it because they, they win. They're doing it. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think that you're gonna you're gonna take the wins and and you're gonna talk, especially if you're a fan, you're gonna talk yourself into it being yeah. good no oh, matter buy, what. Yeah, buy uh, into you're buying. You're, you've been bought in already. You were bought in because you were born, so <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you're happy. If any if anybody's gonna tell you that this isn't pretty football, <laughs> yeah. they're gonna be. You're gonna be telling them they're liars. So Wrong. they're definitely very happy. Yep. The Swedes, uh, or no, to we'll roll it back. Spain whooped, absolutely whooped. whooped. Slovenia or Slovakia. So Slovakia. And the exact Five score that I said was going to happen too. Five I go, nil. you're going to yeah. see them just come out and for some reason they're going to score five nothing this game. Blast them. The, the one call that, and you know, of course my ass don't bet on any of that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought the Slovakians were going to give them a little bit more, but Spain, San Fuego. Yeah. They were crazy. Another five goals today, by the way. Uh, Sweden, Poland. That was a dramatic one. That one was epic. Epic win for Sweden at the end. Um, they come back, back and forth, back and mm-hmm. forth. Finally, Lewandowski again doing it. Two he, goals. He did literally it all, carrying, so, yeah, carrying, carrying that team. team. But it still Just wasn't enough. Got to have somebody else there. Yeah. And, I mean, Swedes, they're, they're doing it. They, they look a, very scary. Good team. They haven't lost in, I think, good seven team. straight games. They're doing so, something right there. Yeah, they, they, got, they got it going on. And to see them being able to put up the goals top now, the too. Top group, yeah. The it's, top of the group. That's big. That's big. Talk to top the group with Spain winning the last game five nothing. Still, you know, like yeah, that's yeah. They they needed that. Yeah, I think that if, if they would have matched up against Croatia, I don't give them nearly as as good of odds against the Ukrainians. You mm-hmm. know that they so th- they're in a they're in a really good position to play Ukraine. Yeah, and an up. even better position against Ukraine because. I like the Ukraine team. <laughs> so, so if you bet so, Ukraine, then Sweden is... Switch might, that. Might do win. not. Yeah. <laughs> that means that Sweden's almost you know what, guaranteed a victory. Talk about them. Don't bet them. Yeah. Do the same thing you do with Spain. I guess so. I mean, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to I'm gonna keep my money off of these uh, other teams just just for the yeah. sake of those nations. <laughs> the, yeah. To hope they deserve they it. Yeah. You, y'all deserve this. All right. <laughs> let me let me back off my bad luck. I don't didn't realize it affected that deeply. Yeah. <laughs> So now, uh, now we'll talk about those knockouts. So the first one, Denmark put the beat down on Wales. Oh, beat them! Oh, Wales had nothing. Wales was, had no chances just, that were like clear and obvious. Like they just didn't. And look. they never even they never even tried to give up. I mean, they were up four nothing, still trying to score at Den- the end of yeah, the game. Denmark was putting it on thick. Yep, they're riding right Foot now. Put on the gas pedal and just going. That yeah, is so, a dangerous team, man. To, and then to have this much confidence coming off, yeah. they know that their next matchup is not going to be as favorable, but it ended up being the, the Czech Republic, yeah. which makes it an even juicier potential. Now I'm we'll still, talk like, about that you still want to ride about, Denmark, yeah, I feel like. Why yeah. the hell not? You have to. <laughs> even if they, even if it wasn't the lens that they were going to play. Yeah. Uh, a 4-0 victory like that, that way... Decidingly. Was yeah. All the, of a sudden, all of a sudden, three. their front yeah, their front three are just playing unreal. All on the score sheet, every single the one. The only one that didn't have a goal was, uh, I think, Damsgaard, but he had an assist. Braithwaite with a goal, Dolberg with two, with two, and they He's pulled like him too. He would have been yeah. the only one with the hat trick. It would have probably <laughs> only happened. time they would have ever had a hat trick for happened. Denmark, and but they pulled him. That was sick to see them to see them doing that. I mean. 
they they give themselves a lot of chances. They give themselves a lot of opportunities. And with those guys doing that, playing sharp, putting the ball in the back of the net, you got to be scared of them to go up against them in this this next round. Not to mention, it's almost like the the whole world that's watching this that's that doesn't have a team specifically that yeah. they're rooting for. Yeah. You know, if they're not matched the up on them, any other neutral nation, they're rooting for them. I mean, they they got they got the backing of the world because of you know everything that happened with Erickson. So I mean, that's that's got to be some fuel. That's some fuel. You're putting some gasoline on the fire right there, and you're just letting these boys play loose because yeah. in their minds, like they don't really have anything to lose Why right now, right? Yeah. Like they're yeah. just they're playing every everything in front of them with no regard to what happens behind them. Yeah, a loss is like, oh, you know what? We did this though. We came yeah. out. We played. That that looseness you talked about it last week. That's dangerous. Yeah, because they have, they're feeling it. Everybody's having fun. They have a common goal. Wouldn't that be something to bring this home mm-hmm. for their homie that literally died on the field like two weeks ago? Talk about a resurrection. Oh my god! <laughs> if Christian Eriksen step aside, if Christian, Christ. <laughs> if he if they they would make him the head of the parade, and that would just be the most emotional day. Of the 21st century in Denmark, like, yeah. without a doubt, without a doubt, that would be so crazy. Just I, and I, I think that it's almost like, like I said, it's what people are rooting for because, yeah. just simply because that storyline. Because yeah, so, I mean, if what, if you're in if you're in media, is that not all you uh, want? Cinderella. So you can just keep talking about Cinderella. it, keep talking about it. It's amazing, and 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 it's it's almost like. Are they still going to be the Cinderella? Like they're going to be favored against Czech, right? Yeah, I would like think they're so. going to be they're going to be favored. Bit. Yeah, just because the way that the Czechs advanced, the red card helping yeah. them out a little bit, and it wasn't a four 0 victory. And then I don't know if this is I don't know where they play the next one. I know that was in Denmark. Yeah, or, no, or I can't remember. No, the, no, the that venue. one that one was um, well, that was at Wembley, right? Yeah, yeah Wembley. Yeah. So. I don't know, man. This is going to be something. This is going to be sick to see them progress, see what happens next. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the other games, one that I know Nick pulled some uh, pulled some dubs on. <laughs> yeah. Did he touch that Denmark game? Um, I, I think that we both took Denmark. In okay. That. Yeah, so those were like the, the – that was the winning day. We all had yeah. – we, we had like four straight wins to, to start to start Saturday. Yeah, and then Italy, Austria, an extra time. Just thrill, three goals in extra time. And – which is just wild because to, to see to see it happen like that, usually I feel like you get into extra time like that. Everybody's tired. You kind of pull back a little bit. You don't want to be that team to give up the goal. So it's kind of tough to be aggressive. But this new the five subs in this setting changes everything. Because yeah. yeah, you used to have these just sluggish, mm-hmm. slow. You're just if a goal comes, it was a set piece or like a just a, a real break in play. Mm-hmm. Um you usually wouldn't see much much end-to-end action, but with 10 new players on the field, and I'm pretty sure they all used all of their subs. Yep. So there's five new players on each side that are just running. Sprinting. So it makes it conceivable to score three in a half hour. It's just it's just wild. It's just like it's one of those things you you, you watch this whole game and and how you know Italy hasn't given up a goal. We kept saying it hasn't oh, given yeah, up a goal, hasn't be. given up a goal. It's gonna happen. The it's Oceans gonna happen. It, the, yeah, but it so. took it took this. Yeah. You know, it took it that long into this game too. Yeah. Where no, legs yeah, kind of get tired. 90, you know, like 90. to to even concede it. <laughs> and it was all subs that scored. Yeah. All of the goal scorers did not start the game. So and just it, more credit to the to the coaches putting in the right guys. And utilizing that, mm-hmm. the, the fact that they can change out five players each. And, and you, I see here, you, all of them, all the scoring yeah. goals were from yeah. the subs. So, so fresh legs, real, they, they matter that it much. Cha- yeah, it changed the game. Absolutely. Because w- it, was, it was getting frustrating for both sides in the, yeah. in the uh, regulation time through 90. They I'll give Austria a lot of credit, too, because yeah. I honestly, I didn't, I didn't see that fight in them before. I, Maybe maybe they played this game differently than they were playing before, but and I, I mean they the, played the tight. The longer the longer that they stayed in it, mm-hmm. the more tenacious, the more dedicated they were getting. It just took a little bit of brilliance from from the Italians, but Italy's the wagon. I mean, they're this is they've they've given up the goal and won, so that you don't have to worry about that anymore. It's not like a unbeaten streak is going to be the, their undoing or a goalless streak will be their undoing. 
they're looking really good. Those front three still make a ton of chances. Yeah, Austria changed up the game plan, changed up their formation, did a lot to frustrate Italy, but Italy still squeaked it out. Yeah. And, and yeah, like you said, I mean, Austria really did change. They changed up where almost all their guys were. Yeah, they went from a back three to a back four. Um, Had a couple rovers. Back. Yeah. yeah. So they just wanted to make sure that, that they weren't going to give up easy goals, easy chances. Yeah, it was nice because, you know, what they did is they they really allowed, I think with the guy that we've been talking about this whole time is being maybe the the best player on their team, the, the superstar that, that's been playing for them. Um, Alba and they really just allowed him to have that space to really try to to push it at Italy, knowing that they're so hard to score against. I think that that was that was good for them to see, and I think that's what kind of kept this game as close as it was because he was able to keep the ball, you know, up up in their side of that, yeah. up in their half. So that that was he played, real smart. Yeah, he played like the superstar mm-hmm. that he is. Um, Nick wanted us to mention that he. I don't know if this was a parlay, but he hit both on a money line and the over two and a half. It took 120 minutes to do yeah. so, but yeah. So he's he's all about him. He's, he's calling him the wagon, and he I, thinks that they have an easier path to the final. Which yeah, which I think that's. I mean, looking I forward, looking ahead, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, with the two injuries there with Belgium, yeah, I think that that's kind of yeah. what he's looking at. Two we, stars out. Absolute. I mean, De Bruyne is out for sure, hundred percent. So we'll see what what comes of it. It's too bad. I mean, Man City's got to be. They're pissed at UEFA for basically allowing. Like, I mean, who? Why are you? Why are you mad at them? They just <laughs> like it's be mad at the guy that fouled him. Yeah, that, that another that cost him the his his next game. Well, it's too bad too having like the the back to back like just say headbutts basically. Yeah, <laughs> that's like that's that's tough for him. I know that my roommate was pissed. Like every time he's seen uh, Rudiger on the, <laughs> on TV, he's been screaming at him. He's yeah. like, "Oh fuck that guy!" Yeah. Oh, he did uh, De Bruyne. I know that's bullshit. He's a jerk. <laughs> it, yeah, too bad. That's. I mean, we but he's talk Batman about, though. Yeah. He's supposed to be the the savior. Who, yeah, De Bruyne. <laughs> Rudiger. But, uh, no, Rudiger. Rudiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he's like evil Batman. <laughs> yeah, he's the evil version of Batman. Anti Batman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can just get into that game then. Belgium, like we were saying earlier. A one nil victory against Portugal, but Portugal absolutely dominated that game. Every dominated which way, that game this way, that way, but yeah. it just didn't happen. It, it didn't. It was. It's, it didn't hit it's the back too of bad the too because they hit a post. Yeah, prior prior to the game too. You know what? What I was hearing the you know the the announcers and everybody was talking about the only reason why they would pick Belgium to lose is if for some reason they would stop being like that attacking self. Yeah, like if they sat back a little. And it, it seemed like, I mean, I don't know if the injuries kind of changed up what their, their game plan was, but, I mean, there's still enough star power on that where you lose a couple guys, you should be good. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't know what it was, but they, they just they, they played very, very conservative. Very conservative. Well, I think, I mean, you have to keep your eye on Ronaldo being the top goal scorer, too. I know he's got some penalties. Three for three. Everybody else is like five for 12, by the way. <laughs> but... <laughs> You got to keep an eye on him. There's there's chances abound everywhere on that Portuguese team. But again, I, Diogo Jota, wasting chances, doing dumb things. So it, he's like so flaky. Yeah, he had a great game a, last game, and then sweet, he comes in yeah. in this game, and it was just. But like for ten minutes, he's like awesome, and then for like a half hour, <laughs> he stinks, and then he'll have like five minutes, and then he just goes back and forth. He can't make up his mind yeah. if he wants to be a good player or not at this level in the Euros. So. Maybe it's just going to be – I hope he comes back next time around World Cup and plays the way he should – like, plays the way that he could play because yeah. he's a good player, but he just makes weird decisions, doesn't do the right thing always, missed uh, – I mean, it was a half chance, but yeah. an early chance. Well, I mean, just to, just to kind of reiterate what we kind of mentioned before, I, I like I said, you, you're looking at these stat lines and you're just like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, Portugal's – they got – 57%, you know, possession, right. 23 total shots, 17 chances created. Um, pass rate was up in the 90s. They had 14 fouls to nine. Um, so, like, the, I mean, Belgium's fouling twice as much. And then you, you just look down at the shots on target. Everything is <laughs> Four shots on target to six. We had six total shots, six chances created by by Belgium, yet they're the one sitting that's there with the, the diff- one. That's the difference. You know? 
Can you put? Because I needs one. I needs one real yeah. chance. And it's just, I mean, in shots inside the box, nine to one. Uh, the, the opportunities were there all day for Portugal to to step up and really take that game. Like it was, it was their, it was, it was their game. Frustrating. And I, I mean, a lot of these were kind of at the end. Yeah, like There's a lot like, of shots yeah, towards like, the end where like it really was shots stacked. and stuff too, mm-hmm. and like where Bel- Belgium just was able to. Well, the goal that they scored was also insane. Baby bro, Thorgan mm-hmm. Hazard with an absolute mm-hmm. snipe, sick <laughs> goal that they were just like, let's ride this. That was let's so cool. It. That was cool. That was cool to watch too. Yeah, and it was the early. Younger brother. Yeah, and it was an absolute seed. Yeah, absolute sick seed. Goal. Sick and goal. you know his, his brother turns Lolaso. back. He's just all smiles yeah. for him. That's a cool thing to watch. To play on the national team with your brother. Yeah, that's insane. And then yeah. you score a goal. And you're you're winning. You're doing well now. His brother is out though. Those those two injuries are going exactly. to be costly. Kevin De Bruyne and Eden Hazard both picked up injuries. Those are two two of your top players, or at least two or three of them. Yeah, to, and for them to go deep, well, I mean, they both went out kind of. They didn't play the whole game. They didn't even play all that late in this no. one. So maybe that was like the difference of that's what tilted. Those shots, that the those sit kind of sit back like, a little bit. Yeah, that they had to kind of be mm-hmm. like, you know what, we're probably not going to score another. We got to. Let's hold. Park let's, the bus. Just, yeah, let's just hold back. But it was, which I guess yeah. would make sense. But it it's works, just such but, against their style of play. And I don't think that'll work in this next game. It's going to be. Italy. It's uh, goals are going to be harder to come by against Italy. Much They're going harder. to be. You're you're not going to be able to put six shots down and hope that one of them goes in. It's just it's not going to happen. And, and that was a that was like we said, absolute rip. Like yeah. it wasn't that like Belgium like just dismantled the Portuguese defense and then scored a goal. It was a moment of brilliance yep. that that won them the game. And then me as the the bet man watching yeah. watching that game too. I'm jacked up. I got the over two and a half. Oh man, yeah. It's, I'm mm, I'm like Lee. Mm, yeah, finally shots, gonna shots, get one. Let's shots, go. They're shots, all over. Shots. Nothing. Miss, miss. Miss. Nothing. One goal. Nothing. One. Oh. Goal. And I'm like <laughs> the game just ended. And I just kind of was scratching the back of my head. <laughs> I'm just like staring at the TV. My one of my buddies who like was asking for my picks during the game, he's just like Brennan, <laughs> like screaming yeah. at me. I send him, I send him the stats, and I go, I don't, I, know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you tell I don't me. Know, you man. tell me. How. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> like yeah. I don't know. They felt. I still think it was the right bet, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's just that's just uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah. <laughs> but them playing Italy, I'm Nick was obviously gonna go for Italy. Uh, likes them moving forward, really to run this table. So, I on, yeah, honestly, I, I, a, you know that Belgium's still going to be favored in this game. It's just they're I'm, they're the top rated team, even with the two injuries. Yeah, they do maybe, have a maybe good it'll, coach. maybe it'll even it out a little bit. Yeah, but it'll probably drop a lot. But they, I mean, they have a great coach. They have a good side. But I, I do think Italy's moment, like Italy's got everything firing on all cylinders, and it's, I think they're just the harder team to beat. Belgium is not that hard to beat. I mean, they're easier they're gonna, to yeah. lose to, yeah. I think, which is weird to say it that way. But they're without without De Bruyne, without Hazard, it's going to be a little tough for them to to get Lukaku really going. I, I don't know who it is yeah, that's going to gonna feed chances, him. You know, especially if they're going to play him up there as a nine. Yeah, all you know, like himself. who's like they're going to have to switch that up. And I think that that's going to style it differently. Like. They're not going to get those same those same seeds. So wh- who's going to be pushing the ball? You know those those big through passes. That's going to give Lukaku that running opportunity to score. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up in that game too. Uh, I took a little screenshot here. There's a quote uh, as we talk about soccer and like the and flopping and everything like that kind of yeah. happening so quick, like so often, and it's it's almost egregious to to some extent. And it's like, Sometimes why does this happen? Really why bad, does this happen? Yeah. And uh, there's a good quote here. Um, by uh, Old Spur himself and England legend Gary Lineker. Um, he goes, there's a photo, uh, one of the photos where uh, Lukaku's being pulled while he's running through the box oh, trying that to was, score. Yeah, that should have been a yellow card. And, and it's Lukaku being pulled back um, and refusing to fall down and then getting uh, and not getting a free kick is exactly why players dive. Yeah. Referees need to reward honesty um, or it's not ever going to change. And I saw that this morning, and I go, "Damn! Like that's yeah. it. 
Uh, that's I I felt that that's I felt why, that hard because yeah. Lukaku's a man. He's, he's a, a monster, man amongst yeah. young you, boys when out you there. You pull his shirt. He's you're not throwing him off balance. But if you're if he were to just slightly. trip or himself and just fall. dive and fall, he probably would have gotten a free kick. You need it. Yeah, he didn't you know? sell it. And it it's that's a a yellow card. Yeah, I like grabbed a handful <laughs> of shirt and tugged on him. And the ref waved it off and told him to like play on. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. I don't know. Yeah, that it, like you said, that just encourages you to and that, anytime I, that somebody needs touches to be addressed. you, pulls you, does anything. That needs to be plastered, you know, plastered on the walls. Like that's that type of play, that type of energy. If you want to see people be more competitive and actually play to their athleticism and not look like little kids, yeah. then I mean, this is the kind of thing that needs to be either rewarded or you have to stop rewarding the diving. You have to do it both ways. Just because it looks like it's more of a, a foul doesn't make it more of a foul, right? Like it's the consequences shouldn't outweigh whether it's a foul or not. You should have some better say yeah. on what a foul is and what a foul is not. Yeah, that was that was crazy to see that the, the, the ref just waved. It was like, nope, no, nope, come on, nope, play on. Come it's on, keep going. Keep you missed it? You missed the handful of shirt somehow? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, gr granted, we're, we're looking at it here in the photo, but I mean, it was very, very evident on TV yeah. live. I, I, I don't recall off the top of my head where, you know, where he was in position wise. Was, he was like towards the middle of the park or they were through the center. They were close to the, to the box. It wasn't like, it was, yeah, it was just they on the 18. Yeah. They were probably what? 25, 25, 22. Yards. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. But it was, it was obvious. And then they took the ball from him. Advantage should have been called there, being like, "Yep, that was a foul yeah. there." He was fouling you the whole time you were running, and good uh, for you for dragging that boy with yeah, you <laughs> for, for playing through. It. Yeah, yeah. So that was weird. I didn't like seeing that either. Yeah, and and again, I think that 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 was just a good quote to to just kind of add in there because it, it's it's the only way it's the only way I think that we can figure out how to properly change that out because otherwise, I I honestly I I don't know how we're gonna stop it because I'm so sick and tired of like not knowing when somebody's actually fucking hurt or not. Oh yeah, that's like, also tough. It's just like, then it's just right, is yeah, that an injury, sucks. or yeah, are you literally just lying there because you're tired? Like, I get it. You want to, you want to take a break, take a break. But it just, it, it's just a bad look. It's a bad yeah. look all around. And I, I think one of the, one of the reasons why it's been so hard pressed to, to get it over here across seas, where we're, <laughs> we're used to just watching different types of games, <laughs> different yeah. types of sports, different types of athletes. Or we make fun of the best athlete in the world and LeBron James for doing that kind of thing and like but trying to embellish reason. to get it. It's the same reason. Exactly. If you if you just beast through it, they're never. And he's call too it. big to get to get really knocked down. Yeah. So you know he's so, got to pretend. Yeah. Or he's not going to get the call. So I mean, it makes sense. I get it. But shoot, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's just got to go, man. <laughs> it's tough. That's just got to go. But maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll see VAR step in some point. I don't know. Cause like, can you call that? Can you pull that back? Like he didn't, he didn't ask for it. The VAR refs didn't say yeah. anything, but I don't yeah, know. I mean, I, I don't want to advocate for having more slow-mo replays because yeah. that slows the game down just as much. More. I just think that it's got to be more of like a, a precedent sent by, I guess, UEFA. Like they're the ones who would have to step in. Coming out and, and telling refs what to look yeah, for, like, what not to you know, look for, what to, what to tell players even. We see all these other sports out here that, you know, are trying to make changes to keep the game, to it make the integrity time, of the it game. You know, I don't know, man. Rob Manfred for baseball decided to make a change oh, mid-season, yeah. which Instantly. is the opposite yeah. of what you would want to happen too. So yeah, with the... Uh, just tossing stripping people down out, pitchers. yeah, stripping down pitchers and testing everything that they are for, holding yeah, in their for hand. Sticky substance. Yeah, which is just, I mean, it's that's that's trash. So it's like that would be the wrong way to handle this, but there's got to be a way to actually, line, yeah. yeah, to actually go through and just maybe do some better training. Be like, this is what we're looking for. We want to get rid of this in the game and address it, and like make a real, actual, honest effort to address it. Yeah. So. Going into this kind of VAR and like referee decisions, uh, I think this Czech Republic Netherlands game Ugh. is another one. You That's had, another you reason were, why I'm you were sitting here. You were defending I'm that not, handball. It wasn't that I was defending it. It's that I wanted it so bad <laughs> that I was trying to find a way to talk myself into it oh, not man. being that. You yeah, know, like Netherlands taking a red card. Uh, on, the guy, it's, he slipped and fell. And it's on and his it's way down, and it's de la height. <laughs> swats the ball. The man with his hand. Denying a clear and obvious goal scoring opportunity. He gets a yellow card initially, mm -hmm. but then they check it 
Because the VAR refs were like, uh, yeah, that was a weird handball. Like, let's take a look. Yeah. And it was sure enough, he saw the ball, watched it, smacked it back through his legs, and then caught himself as he was slipping and falling. And that's the only reason why he did oh, that. Oh, yeah. If he, if he faced him, he lost his footing. <laughs> just grabbed, some, just, grabbed a chunk of grass with his mouth. I think that, yeah. that wouldn't have got, got called. It would have just been an indirect. Yeah. It's a, it's a yellow. But that but, was, yeah, that cost the Netherlands the game because. Yeah. They were wasting chances before that. They were making chances, but they just weren't hitting the net. And then now you're down a man against a Czech Republic team that has done well, has made chances, has scored goals. These were my dudes. Yeah. But the Czech I'm Republic. I'm so sad. The Netherlands just checks out of the tournament. Euro yeah. 2021, 2020, I guess. I mean, it's it's good. It's nice to see, but, you yeah, know, Czech make, make a move again, um, you know, show the world that they can play. I uh, you know like I said I've got nice I've upset. got friends who who are from Czech so you know so they're from Chechnya it's, it's good good it's great for them um, as fans but for me as as a guy who was rooting for like that like I wanted to find a team that wasn't that wasn't Belgium yeah. or a France dark horse, uh, you know to support. and, and yeah, Nick already Denmark, had Italy yeah. so I was like you know Netherlands man I just I've been talking about them and Ryan finally them. last week I was like you know what I'm in I'm I'm sold I like where they are and. Man, did not even have a single a single shot on goal, not a single shot on goal that whole game, which, but which is it's tough to say because a, Mason Depay had a, had a one on one break against the goalie and they don't even, even count that as a save some, even, for some reason. Even early, well, because he was trying to go around. Him. Yeah, but still, shoot, that's but a yeah, that's that a, a save. save. <laughs> and there were other doesn't get chances. much more of a save than there that. I'm mashing Y for yeah. FIFA, you know, pulling him out. They made other chances too in that first half and just it didn't it didn't happen. And all the credit to the Czechs for keeping them scoreless in yep. 45. And then taking the taking the red just changed the whole game. And and honestly, I mean, that red too, it's it's again, it's another the only reason why it was made was because of Patrick Schick. Oh, his play. His play. Yeah. He was the one he there. He was it. the one forcing it. And because they knew how dominant he's been, yeah, that you he's know, like, Delight had to do him, that. I'm not gonna let him take a one on one. Yeah. Yeah. Delight was like, nope. SWAT. Yeah, so he he had to get himself in a position where he just got beat, and it and just it, you know that that gets that kind of comes out of you, you know, when you you don't yeah. want to you don't want to be shown that you got beat. And so it's it like what take, can you do? It took them a whole ten minutes to score. Yeah. So at least for a little while, it seemed like the Netherlands like maybe that was a smart play, mm -hmm. but it just didn't happen. Schick with another goal, uh, but that that goal was all hollish. Yeah. That guy was just all hustle. It's like a, a throw in that he just sniffed out. Took it, ran, beat everybody. The Netherlands was just in shambles at that oh, yeah. point. Squares it to Shake for his fourth goal of the tournament. The guy's making chances, and clearly they're playing as a team. They like each other. They're having fun. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that I've seen of the Italians, too. I've seen some stuff on, like, Instagram and stuff. They're, like, pranking each other, and, like, they give each other a yeah. lot of heat. And, like, it's a 2004 they, Red Sox in they there. Have a lot of, they have a lot of fun on that yeah. side. Uh, and I think these check and, like, with these checks and with these Danes and these underdog teams going through, like, wow, you can't you can't do anything but have fun. Yeah. If you're on that team, you ever been on like a bad team and you just do better than you should be <laughs> yeah. doing? Yeah. But also Everybody the same feels token like though. Invincible until doesn't winning just always make you have fun though? Yeah. Until right. It like all comes because they're winning, down. that's why they're having fun. Until it comes they, crashing down. Yeah. But you get right one now, one bad play, you're down for a little too long. We'll see how long, like how how you know how good that camaraderie really is. Yeah. You're gonna stick that together, or is that? <laughs> Is that all just trash? No. <laughs> but no, they've got a real chance against Denmark. This this is probably going to be one of the more entertaining games because I don't see either of these teams feeling that they need to sit back. Both of these teams will go for it. Um, yeah. Because like with some of the other games, like England-Germany, maybe we'll, we'll see some of that. That'll be coming up. Um no, but these I are two like, teams yeah. that are attacking style teams. Yeah. They're not, they're not, he, like, they and, got, they have good, de like, their defense yeah. isn't bad, but they're attacking teams. They're, they want to create those chances. And I don't know, like, I, I want to keep riding, like, Denmark super hard, but, like, at the same time, Patrick Schick's been the, I mean, he is, in my mind, still, he's the player of the tournament. He's still here, too. He's, he's still, still going here. through it. And he scored again, and he created the red card. Like, he, like, without him, I mean, this is a yeah, whole different tournament. It, yeah. It's a whole different yeah, tournament. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know who the next guy up that would have filled been, that role, but, but I can tell you that the whatever the the wins against record could be like that. That's that's 
that's him. He's right now, he is who I would vote for for player player of the tournament all the way through. Even if they don't win this game, if he scores again or if he helps and creates another scoring yeah, like assist opportunity, something, assist, yeah. something like that, it's, it's just more. I'm still like, you know what? He more was, to his credit. Yeah, he did that. Nobody else was more singularly dominant than he is. You could say Ronaldo, but he's knocked out of the tournament. Mm -hmm. And most of his stuff came from PKs. I mean, let's be real. Three yeah. of his goals were from PKs. But again, like I said, he made he's all the only three one of that's them. three for three. Yeah. Everybody else misses five the PK. for 12. That's crazy to me. Yeah. Less than 50%. Is insane. It should be at least at 75, right? You would, you think? Uh, you would say like 90. Yeah, like that's 10 what I would have thought. I'm like, how do you 12, miss? Like maybe one 11. or two? Yeah. But this many? Yeah. Some's, well, the, the, the goalies do have a better... They're, they're like scouting really hard, much more than they even were like five years ago. So you got to give them some credit. But, I mean, it's still just... It's like luck. It's pure yeah. luck. And it's just not falling other people's ways. But Ronaldo did it. But I... Do, I I'll back you with Schick as player of the tournament right now. And if he gets another one, that's five goals. Yeah. He's got assists. None of them were PKs. He has the best probably. Or there's a couple goals that might rival it, but one of the better goals of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Easily. Top, top two. I mean, SportsCenter had his as number one going into the knockouts. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean. There was some. I mean, <laughs> that Hazard goal was crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, and then his the one he had in this game was kind of a little. It was, it was, it was just a tap. In. He just finished it. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was still a good goal. No, I mean it's still in the right place yeah. at the right time. There were some moving. There were some nice goals in this uh, in the Spain Croatia game too. Oh, this game. Five, Let me three, tell you, five, I three couldn't be Spanish. more mad that I was in the office having to watch this. It was wild. Without sound, it was wild. It, it, every time I turned my head. I get it. I, I hear my phone vibrate before I'd even be able to look back dude, up over goal. at my other screen and see dude, it. Goal. Yeah. <laughs> like, so that's crazy thing about today with these two games. Both both games started off with the underdog mm -hmm. scoring the first yep. goal in the first half. Yep. And then boom, rearing back three goals straight by the other team to be up three one. To then have it tied in the 90th the 90, minute. Yeah. yeah, both. One was both, like 88. Yeah, was like whatever. Plus, close. Yeah, 90th right? Minute, 90th, 90th minute. 90th minute. Goals. Wow. To tie, to send it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's all you would ever hope for. And, and even if we got one of these games, I would be like, wow, goals? that was a, that was a, what a, yeah. what a match day. Right? You get they were two, talking about the, the this Croatia game as being one of the ones that will be remembered for, for all years. Time, for years. All time. Yeah. Eight goal game. Uh, six goals in in ninety minutes with all of the drama you could ever ask for, could ever want. It was shaky on Spain. I mean, they gave up that own goal in the beginning, like and you were just like, oh, uh -huh, okay. So this was the team we saw in the first two games. That, yeah, that they're gonna be slipping up. They're gonna be making mistakes. I mean, it was he fired the back <laughs> pass back like in the air. It wasn't like I don't even think he really needed. It to got hit it that maybe hard. one little bounce. It bounced funny, and the goalie just couldn't. And it was square on the net. Yeah. So. I mean, like they were talking about in the in the broadcast that people have so much faith in these goalies, but one of the commentators also mentioned something I said too, where it's you just don't pass it back directly into the, like the square of the net. Yeah, you pass it a little bit left or a little bit right. Which there was a game later that somebody did exactly that, and guess what? It just went out of bounds. No goal. Yeah, no, exactly, and got but, lucky with that. Yeah, but so that was a that's a tough tough early goal. But the Croatians after that just kind of fell flat a little bit. Like they didn't they didn't capitalize on the momentum right mm -hmm. away. But the, again, that's was, what that Croatia yeah. team was when we were saying going in. Like they're the defensive stalwart. Like that's that was the team yeah. that that we said if they get a couple goals, wow, they're going to be really hard to score against. They're going to be really hard to score against. So it when I saw that, I was just like, holy shit! And the best thing is that one of my buddies, Dan. He reached out uh, yesterday. He was telling me, he's like, my underdog to bet on is Croatia against Spain. He was like, Spain put up that five-goal performance. They uh, they looked really good. Good for them. It's against Slovakia. Yeah, Let's relax. Yeah. You know, and like ain't they didn't look again. good in the first two. They're not doing that back-to-back, -back, scoring five. It's like, Croatia's a good team. Like, this, this team went to the finals, like... A couple years ago, the yeah. the same team. Yeah, yeah, because so, it was it was mostly all these. They did lose a couple key players, but everyone else, yeah. 
but mo- mostly side. the same it's the team. same side. And and I I was like, damn it. And I was like, that's a I mean, it's a good call, but like Croatia hasn't done anything to make me feel all that happy about yeah. them yet. That last game was like, all right, we see some sparks. Yeah, if they score, they're not going to give it up. It still wasn't. But again, it was against Scotland too, and like they hadn't scored at all anyways. So. Yeah, that was that was a funny little one there. But yeah, that was Spain putting in three, so they tied it before half, mm-hmm. and then just looked like they were the the side that was gonna just walk away with it. They got their second, they got their third, and Croatia just looked spent, defeated, just done and dusted. Like it was like it was just gonna ride out three one. Yeah, let's but like wrap it, was it like up. A flip got switched or something, and Spain started playing Couple with like subs. actual like speed and aggression. Yeah. Like they really started to attack. They weren't just they weren't just possessing, possessing, pass it around the top, pass well, it around the top. Because both these teams like to hold the ball as yeah. much as they can. Croatia didn't hold it at all. Yeah, th- yeah, and then a couple subs come in, a little more urgency, fresher legs. Mm-hmm. And they steal two. It's 85 and 90 plus two. So they waited till the absolute last minute to make this happen. But they did it, and it was it was crazy. It, and then right away, it looked like, damn, okay, this is that Croatia team that went all the way to the World Cup final. And Spain is slipping. Spain Spain is who kind of we thought they were. But mm-hmm. then... They are then, who we thought, thought they, they were. Then the, and we let them off the hook. And then the flip gets switched again, and Spain comes out in this extra time. And just runs a show. Yeah. Two goals. And, and again, let yeah. me tell you. Wow. Um, are they going to dominate Switzerland? <laughs> are they going to dom? Is this going to be another the, yeah. absolute routing? It, it might be. Are we going to get a minus one and a half like pick line? <laughs> like, is that what it's going to be? Because this is just insane. Five goals, 10 goals. and They have 11 goals in three games. Yeah. Two goals or two games with five goals apiece. A team that we didn't really think had that kind of firepower because to they really, really get they, those goals. When you look at the lineup, it's not. It's like Murata. That's yeah. Th- that's that's he who did, you got. He did though, right? get it. He did get his goal today. Yeah. He for all the heat that he's taken, I gotta say, what a comeback! What a performance! What a just good job! Strong. He played inspired too. Strong. You could mental see it. Toughness. You could see it on him. He's got it. I he like, felt the weight, and he and he took it. I like the way he's he's going about his business now. Yeah, you can give him all the heat you want, miss penalties, whatever, but just something special is going on on the Spain side, right? I don't know what they're putting in the water, but they need <laughs> yeah. to keep drinking it and just drink <laughs> twice as much, and they will pummel. Pummel Switzerland. Oh, a, pu- in that. a pummel. Yeah. Even if they were going up against France, I would have said that, that, France that, that this would have been a out. really tight France game. better look out. Yeah, they better play their best, their best game. Spain. So hard right now. Spain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're coming out with the blue steel. They're going to yeah. be stopping it's, throwing stars in a second. Yeah. It was just not enough by the Croatians. And, and something's, yeah, something's going on there. Something's going on in that Spain camp, and I want in. I want in. It's it's been. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's I mean, good for them. They they they're looking like that old Spain team. Yeah. Right. That's what that's what they got. They kind of kind of got OG, working right yeah. now. And then the other game we've kind of alluded to a little bit. Switzerland literally stunning the entire planet. I'm st- I'm still France. I'm still reeling right now. When that me. when that final whistle went, I had I had like a chill went through my body. I was like, no way. That just like holy crap. Oh my God! Yeah, they just beat France in PKs, and and it was ugh. the it was just it was exactly like that. It was just it like, was ugh. insane. I was loving it. I mean, forget the French. Yeah. I, I don't give a hoot. Once Portugal got knocked out, I I just want all the big names to get knocked out. All right, off. yeah, I you're like somebody, let's see let's see some new blood, some new crazy blood to happen. Which but I'm yeah. with. I I'm usually I'm usually that guy. Like I'm I'm usually yeah. ride ride the underdogs, ride the underdogs. You but, know, as as that fan of like the the teams that are always the underdogs. Yeah. But like this was said, just that. It's just I don't know. The underdog took G that early lead, is, though. You know, this is his squad. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm just like, who am I gonna root for? Like, all right, I'm English, but like I've never lived in England before. <laughs> yeah, but like this French side. I mean, it was studded, star studded, embarrassment of riches. But like now that I'm looking back on it, were they? On Mbappe, paper, yeah. Mbappe, I don't want to. I don't want to just like so absolutely flat. rail on him right he wasn't now. Ready, apparently. But I want to rail on him right now. 
He was terrible. No I, I understand that he that he helped kind of create a lot of the chances and that his speed opens the game up a little bit. Did and, he, you know, he was kind of yeah. – he, he was doing that by, like, kind of helping to create. I think he had an assist today, but, like, he – he was, he could, dude, he could not find the back of the net. Could not for the life of him. He had three opportunities in the second half in extra time that he was standing two feet from the fucking goal. And I'm sorry for swearing right now, but goddamn, dude. Really? Yeah. Like, and then, and then to come up lame on the last attempt, like oh, literally walking was, around like your knee hurts, like that's a losing mentality. That's a loser's mentality. You're going to come up and pretend like you weren't giving your all right there. All right. You made a mistake. Get in there. Get riled up. No, don't pull out and now show an excuse for why you missed that last one, lost. dude. No, man. You weren't hurt. You fucking stunk. You stunk. Own that shit. You're young. Grow from it, but goddamn, man, he really, really hurt that team. Yeah, one assist through the. Tournament. Why are you having him be the last one too? Knowing, knowing that he has had so much trouble finding the back of the net. I think. Why is just, he your last guy? I think it's just been one of those things where it's like, all right, it's Mbappe. Like it's he's killing Mbappe. And he looked uninspired when he took that shot. He looked though. scared. He looked scared like, for like most of this game because he. I think he started to figure out that like I'm playing like garbage. Started probably getting in his own head, mm -hmm. getting worried about what's going to happen if they don't win because this was, I mean, Kareem Benzema saving France's skin with another, <laughs> all right, the, the number of the day is two because Kareem Benzema scores two goals in two minutes in two straight games. <laughs> because shoot, that's if right. It, it, because if you think about it, technically he scored two yeah, goals, yeah, and then right the, at the end of the, the and right at the start of the minute, half in the forty seventh oh, minute, forty five, yeah, plus two, and then two minutes, yeah, into the second half against Portugal, he scores, and then today he scores two goals in uh, two just minutes. just absolute right, right after a missed penalty too, another missed penalty. Swings everything towards the French side, and Kareem Benzema puts the team on his back, makes it happen. It, after that, dude, Lurice, Switzerland man, looked, Switzerland looked flat, looked done, looked looked sad. No, they looked they looked absolutely dominated. They looked dominated. I honestly don't know what it was that picked them back up. Like what was said to them, who sparked it? Was it was it Jaka? Like that guy's yeah. kind of a crazy yeah, person. He's like he he's was a, being he's a wild. Whack job. I mean, he looked like a member of the InSync out there today yeah, with like his just, fucking frosty hair. Yeah, but he like looked, he looks funny. And he's out there screaming his face yeah, off at no, people the whole I, game. And I think the game was over, and he was still screaming at people. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it, it. They were they were talking on like the broadcast where it's at halftime, Switzerland. It's all they have everything to play for. They have to be so inspired, so pumped, leading the. World Cup champs and France just looked so flat, so out Damn. of it. They didn't. It looked like they didn't know where they were, like who they were playing. They looked just absent-minded. So something happened in that locker room, mm -hmm. but whatever was happening in the in the Swiss locker room clearly held on for the full forty-five minutes yep. of the second half plus the thirty minutes of injury time, and it didn't really hold on into that mm -hmm. French mentality because they. Mbappe, yeah. man, he was, was just oh. killing me softly with his play. Yeah. Killing me softly. He was bad. He was just bad this <laughs> tournament. Just so bad. But this game, this game was anything but, because it was back and forth every which way. There was chances made on both sides. They were just running and running and running up the field, up and down. And it was it was really, again, we're, we have two of the games of the tournament. And one back day. to back and in the same day so on a Monday, 96 sick. degrees in mass, yeah. <laughs> no yeah. AC in my Sweating office, <laughs> literally and not figuratively. And so late drama again with another 90th minute goal. There was another goal that I thought should have gone to some VAR on it. It was an offsides call. That was so th I think close, they, they took it to VR quickly, they look? but they, they didn't have to go to the monitor because it was pretty Pretty evident that he was offside. I, I mean, because if you look, like some of the other decisions, at least like draw me that line. No, give I, me that. If you're, I hate if that, you're that's doing it thing. for everyone else, draw me that line. For all the thing that that VAR is, if you can't, if you're gonna use this type of technology and you're not gonna give me instant feedback as a viewer, yeah, bang, instant. I want to see that line instantly before before it even goes and we get the decision. I want to see that line so, so I that can I can it. complain about it before you make your call. Before the ref, can. I want to be yelling at. 
at the TV saying you're wrong before yeah. you've even been wrong. But even more resiliency that they come back and scored the goal that they needed there. Yeah. They thought they had the equalizer, and then it took them a couple more minutes, and then they got and, it. And for most teams, man, that's like a putting a needle in the balloon, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're done. You see, you never like. like we're, who's it. who's blowing that back up? That we're not gonna have chance. some big rousing halftime speech again. No. <laughs> Al Pacino's not walking into the locker no. room standing on a soapbox. <laughs> yeah, that was, and then that that was one of the better penalty shootouts I've ever seen. Everybody was just laser beams, laser beams, laser. I thought beams. I thought Lloris was gonna have another save. Oh, that one! But I mean, it was it, it was hard. up high enough. It was right there. He put his hand on it. But oh my god, did he power that? That was um. There was two that he got close to. One of them he like dove all the way, and then there was another one that he almost had a chance on. But they were talking in the broadcast again that the guy that was taking it would, was the guy that was gonna probably try to chip middle. And if you watch Yuri's, he, he kind of he hesitated ground, for a second, and then he picked a side because he yeah knew who was coming up against him and figured if somebody's gonna go straight down and try and trick me, it's gonna be this guy. But they outsmarted them. They did it. It was it was sick. And then it and was. then like because even I was like, wait, did they just win? And everybody on Switzerland, the goalie was like, wait, did did we, like was that cool? Yeah, was that kosher? Like, <laughs> is any whistle gonna blow? Like, are you guys gonna? Is this? Am I unpunked? Right. And then they were like, no, yeah, you guys just won, and oh. everybody just erupt. Please. My, they my went nuts. those those Swiss fans went. My roommate, who's the city fan, he's been he's so been sick. hyping up Mbappe so like sick. he's the guy that he wants, you know, the transfer window yeah. to go over there. And I was like, I was like, over Lukaku, like you'd rather you'd rather buy out Mbappe for an extra ten mil. And he's like, hell yeah, all day. And as soon as he comes up for the PK, he goes. Here's here's the real deciding factor. If he's gonna be on city, he's gonna miss this right now, <laughs> and he missed it. And I couldn't have been more angry in my life. That was insane. Apparently, none of the guys on city can take PKs. Yeah, and, yeah, because uh, Aguero missed one. Oh, Aguero's the, yeah, and chipped it right. Yeah, he chipped it right over the top. Yeah, or I think it in was champions. In the, was it champions? Yeah, it was league champions. Was it late in the Premier League, but either no, way, it was yeah. champions. Yeah, they're having they have a tough go for it over yeah. there. It's, and if he goes, then they just have another bad penalty taker. That like, and that wasn't. I mean, great save, but that wasn't like the. That wasn't like the winning penalty. That that wasn't the best no. one that they could have put out. No, he also he didn't he didn't have conviction behind it. Like I said, like it looked more like he was more afraid to be the guy to miss the goal. Than he was to be the guy to be um, decisive, yeah. you know. Like if if he makes it, if he guesses the right side, he guesses yeah. the right side. Like that's kind of the mentality yeah. he went in there with. It wasn't a killer mentality. No, he wasn't. You know who was a killer was Olivier Giroud coming in late. Mm. He had a thought, couple couple opportunities I thought were really gonna slide in. Yeah, because he did it before, save French, the French skin before. Yep. So they thought it was gonna happen again, but and there's been a little friction they talked about between he and Benzema. Kind of yeah. started the tournament, so it was good to see them kind of like dap it up, like yeah. just look at each other and be like, but, "Dude, this is business, baby. Get out there. Let's this is business." France didn't have enough. They they had opportunities for days, opportunities for days just, there at the end. Even coming down to the last, the last thirty seconds yeah. of of regular of regular it. time, they were pushing it. I mean, uh, who was who was that? Was that was that uh, Tumen? Oh, Thuram. Or Thuram, whatever yeah. his name who is. It? Lead at the end. Yeah, Lillian Thuram. Tuman. I'm going to say Tuman. Sure, Tuman. <laughs> Tuman, yeah. And then he he fired his penalty, too. Yeah, smoked but, it. But Switzerland, oh my goodness, what a, what a magical evening. They're going nuts for the next, like, 48 hours. <laughs> and so is uh, those Czechs. They're still going nuts. Denmark, oh, yeah. like, all these... I love that. Love that these small teams. This is the first time Switzerland has won a knockout game since 1936 World Cup. Something crazy like that. No shit. Every time they go and they've lost a lot of PKs, they've ne they have not advanced past knockout. They yeah. always make it pretty much for at least as long as I can remember. Especially in the Euros, they make it through. Today they finally made. Yeah, they've been the there for a while. Step. Like I mean, they're definitely a team that I've. I mean, I know watching for a long time. So. Yeah. So let's look ahead to uh, some of the next matches that we have lined up. So Ukraine versus Sweden. We've talked about it a little bit. I like Sweden. I mean, yeah. I like the Ukrainians, but in this game, it's Sweden's Sweden's rolling. S Sweden's on an absolute absolute missile. And I mean, I've just been on this Ukraine team just because I think they're fun to watch. Um, Sweden 
turned up the tempo a little bit for me. It's gonna but be, they've yeah. kind of been they've kind of been again one of those park the bus type teams for a little bit. And I don't know if if they if they actually keep scoring if they go out there and start shooting then, there I, could then be I'm some, fine. There could be some goals in this one. Yeah. There, I, I mean I I hope so. I'm that's what I really hope. And then, but again, yeah. you look at Sweden's Sweden's line right now. They're running a 4-4-2. Forsberg is nasty though. He's doing. He's playing out of his mind. Yeah. He's playing. He had. He's having a good tournament too. It's not as. It's not as obvious as Schick's, but he's having a good tournament. Mm-hmm. He iced the game, I think. Right. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yep. To, to make them win the group, to give them the opportunity against yeah. Ukraine. And then I'm um, back there at center back. Lindelof's been. He's been Lights awesome. Out. Absolute dominant. You're not. You're not getting by him. So I. I think. And then um even Ektel's been awesome as well. So I, I mean that that whole I mean, Olsen, Larson, all their whole midfield has been good. Um, I just good I don't enough really to beat Ukraine. I think so. I don't know if it's good enough to like yeah. carry them deep, but it'll be it just that's that's what I'm looking forward to. That one's got to be open. Both sides have to feel like they can win that I game. I mean, if today showed us anything too, I yeah, mean, anybody it's, can win. It's any open, game. Yeah. right? It's, it's open. It's blow the roof off it's the place. Open. Let's go. Then another it looks one. like it looks like they yeah. got your boy Zinchenko yeah, so um, he, up there in midfield again. Yeah, so because he's gonna have to push. They need the goals. They yeah. need his as as good as he is as a defender. They don't have somebody like him that can play up. So yeah. they need him more as like a as like a left mid instead of a left back. Mm-hmm. And Yarm Yarmachuk up there in the front. And they're making, they're making plays. They're making plays too. I mean, they've scored in every game. I That's think. what I mean. Like they're yeah. gonna put a goal in. I guarantee they're yeah. going to put a goal yeah, in. They so. won't get blanked. Yeah, I don't so, think they get blanked here. I don't either. This then, is a game I actually, weirdly enough, even even though they're running four four two, I still see goals on both sides. Yeah. So we'll go to Germany, England. You going for the English? Uh, I'm going to have to keep riding the England. Um, I want to first and foremost, I want to apologize to any um, England national fan. Um, <laughs> I have been the biggest curse in the world. But I'm still going for the boys. Uh, that's just that's the team. I I just I, I think they match up very well. I think that they have they have more scoring power. I think they have guys that have been around that can that can be there as leaders and young guys that can be up there, you know, playing a different game. So I think that I think that they're the team that I'm gonna take. And the thing they have going for them that Germany doesn't is consistency. Yeah, Germany put four goals, granted two own goals, but they they put up a convincing performance against Portugal. One that was like, okay, this is the German side we're gonna see okay, for the rest of the tournament, and then they draw Hungary, and then it it, it was a <laughs> it was a late goal to, to yeah. keep them in it to keep them in this tournament. I do, do they do they, do do they have that, that again? Like, do they do they have enough luck to to push England to the brink, or is this new English like crazy defense? Like, this is one of those games that England English scores side? early. Oh, then I gotta yeah, give right? it to them. Like, I think that that's 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 what I'm looking for. Like. In in that in that first half, like if if England can get out there and score, that's I mean that's the game. They yeah. they need us. I think they need to score early. Yeah, I that'll do it for them. But if they don't, good luck. And we talked about the Belgium Italy game, um, you know, a little bit already. I think yeah, we put injuries, kind of like what it is we think. Belgium those injuries, injuries are looking. It opens the door a lot for an Italy but, team that is really really soaring. But these, but it's not like they have like Yana Carrasco. Like they have good subs. It's not like that. This this Belgium side is number one for a reason. Yeah, their depth is solid. They're they're gonna be dangerous, but. Do we favor the Italians? Mm. I think that I don't want to do it for for Nick's sake, so I'm just gonna take Belgium. <laughs> yeah, Belgium's like, taking it. We'll see. We'll probably see like uh, more Dries Martins, maybe Carrasco starting. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll even see them go to like two forwards with mm-hmm. Lukaku and Benteke because they kind of they've lost. That's what I think that we're, we're gonna have to see them do. in the midfield. They're gonna have to do that. They're gonna have to spread it out a little bit more up front. So that'll be interesting to see. That one's going to be entertaining. And then we just talked about this too. Switzerland, Spain. Spain, Spain's going to absolutely. I think they're going to absolutely hope, rip I them hope, up. I hope not, but it sure. I, I, it it, it sure just, seems likely. Spain's looking just as dangerous as 15, anybody in the tournament. Out, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> they going to score another five. Like out of three. nowhere, man. Like that. This team was a stinker in the first two games. We were bored Hot by at them. the right time. Hot and at now, the right time. I mean, I don't want to play them. 
No, no way. And that's gonna be that's gonna be the next one for <laughs> for Belgium or Italy. They're gonna have to play against one of those teams. Yeah, that's why I don't. That think bodes well Italy for has, Germany yeah. or England. That bodes well for yeah. them, I think. And then the last one, the Czech Republic versus Denmark, which I think we also have kind of mentioned. Yeah, this one's gonna be all over the place. I I like the Danes though. I gotta go. Like, what kind of person would I be, or would you be, as a neutral? And yeah. not root for Denmark. Yeah. Christian Eriksen, the whole country is just behind this side. This and is it. Play- and game. they're playing really, really good. Yeah. It's not like they're being like, uh, oh, squeaking it out, like a little bit of late magic. No, they're just dominating. They're yeah. just a good side. And 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 like I like we were talking about, both these teams have they've been really on the attack. So I look for this game to be another one of those games that we can look at and just be like, this is going to be fun. Sick. It's yeah. going to be, it's going to be, even if there's not a lot of goals scored, it's going to be like Something. your heart's going to be pounding on it. Like, oh, yeah. opportunity, thriller. Ooh, opportunity. Thriller. And then uh, just to quickly mention uh, Copa happening right now. Argen- Argentina is playing against uh, Bolivia right now, the old yeah. punching bag of South America. And so uh, Messi like, yeah. just got a nice little assist as we were speaking. Argentina's trying to go uh, undefeated through the group stage. Yep. So I think it's mostly settled there. I think they're just gonna they're just trying to see who comes in third, fourth. There's only so they, they had a weird system this yeah. year. And two they're playing it of, out in Brazil right now yeah, too, it's all in like Brazil. COVID two factory. Group, two Brazil. groups of five. Um, so there's only one side that won't make it to the next round, but. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of good games going on in the next few days. This weekend's gonna get crazy, and then and, and that then transfer window, yeah. like we keep saying, it's it is up. it's opening up. Yeah. There's a lot going on, and that is gonna be something we get into. We're excited for it. Um, Do you want to give a pick for these knockouts that are coming? Like the, my go to the the team to take. Yeah. Um. You saying England? Yeah, dude. Honest. No, I don't want to mess with England. <laughs> I don't want to mess with England because that game's just going to be so much in there. Um, I think that if you're going to take any team, it's Spain. Spain's that team yeah. that I think is your lock to win, to move, to take on. Um, if you want to get somebody with that's going to have a little bit more of like potential bang for your buck, then I'm going to take. I'm probably going to take Ukraine. Yeah, I think Ukraine would be a fun. I pick. think that that's that's Ukraine's one like that the could most happen. Fun pick. Mm-hmm. Um, because all the other ones seem like I, there's a team that I like yep. that I want that I see winning there. You, if the Ukrainians pull that off against Sweden, I I would be overjoyed. And if you want to actually win any money with our boy Nick just absolutely dominating it right now, uh, if you have the Action Network app, you should just follow him <laughs> on the Action Network. And if I can get it to load real quick, I will give you his Plugs. Action Network. It's going to be N Riccardi. I believe is what it is, but for some reason mine won't load right now. We'll get him on. We'll get him to share. It <laughs> we'll next have week. to get him to share because that gentlemen. boy is riding hot. If anything, just fade him now because there's no way he stays oh, yeah. as hot. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna go thirty. Yeah, and he's three thirty and thirty every three weeks. Uh, but that's it for us, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. We are the linesmen. Brought to you by Hedge Better. Yeah. Have a good. Everyone's one. even on Monday. So long. <laughs> <laughs>